Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. Today is June the 13th, 2018, and I'm here with some of my tender green burpless cucumbers. Uh, the good news is we did manage to stop the um, dampening off disease and we stopped the stem rot. So um, I wanted to give you an update on that. The uh, neem oil and the sea magic worked. So uh, today what I want to talk to you about is how to tell the difference on your cucumber plants between the male and the female flowers. And I also want to talk to you about how to increase uh, the production of your cucumber plants by pollinating them with a paintbrush. So here's one of my plants here. And you can see, let me put this back in here. This one here is a female flower. It has the cucumber here on the end of it. A little bit here, let me get the, there we go, focus in. So you can see the female flower here. And if you look in the center, you'll tell that the center is different looking. And over here, in a moment, is the male flower. Now, uh, it did just stop raining not too long ago. So the flowers have water and the pollen. So I'm going to show you how to pollinate them here in a moment. Okay, so I'm down here at one of the other tender green burpless cucumbers. Um, this one doesn't have water standing in the pollen. So what I'm going to actually do, I'm going to take the paintbrush, and you can do this with your finger, but um, I'm just using the paintbrush. And I'm getting the pollen on the paintbrush. Just kind of twist it around in there, dab across it. About that, can't see it on the camera. Okay, and now I'm going to go back to the other plant. Okay, so we're back over here at the female flower. And I have my pollen on the paintbrush. And I'm just going to put this right in the center. I'm kind of twisting it over. You can dab it in the center too. And what I actually do is I go from the different male flowers that are open. Oops, sorry about that. And I'll get the pollen on the paintbrush. And then I'll come back to the female flowers. And I'll just put pollen on the female flower right in the center make sure you get it right in the center and that will help to pollinate because we're down on our pollinators this year and we've been seeing a decrease in the pollinators which isn't a good thing because the pollinators we need those to pollinate our fruit on our vegetables so um, I'm going with the method of hand pollinating so what I'll actually do is I will keep pollinating this flower every day until um, the flower actually closes. I have another one up here. Hold on a moment. Let me find it here. Um, okay, this one here. I've been pollinating this one here. Sorry about that. I've been pollinating this one here uh, while the flower was open. Now the flower is spent and closed. So this one should give a cucumber for me. Because I made sure that I kept going to the uh, different male flowers with the paintbrush and pollinating it. Now your cucumbers will cross. Uh, they'll cross in their second year if you save the seeds from them if you're growing different varieties so um, that is something to keep in mind if you want to save the seeds from an heirloom variety uh, you will have to just grow that variety or you'll have to isolate it away from your other ones so these here are all the tender green burpless cucumbers and this one here is an heirloom I'll show you some of the other ones here uh, this one here is an early burpless cucumber. I'm pretty sure that's the name of it. It's a hybrid. Um, this one got hit the hardest 
by the dampening off disease and stem rot. And then um, this one here was one I actually thought I was going to lose it. Uh, I used some steam magic on it and uh, it appears to have pulled through. Now, one thing, this right here, this is a weevil. They are very bad for your plants. They will bore into the stem, so we are just going to get rid of this thing here. I'm not even giving it a chance to do anything. I'm just going to get rid of it here. You can see what they look like here. It has a long snout on it, and they'll bore into the stems of your plants. Uh, they you also have uh, root weevils, and they'll eat the roots of your plants off. So we're just going to get rid of that thing. This here is a gateway hybrid cucumber. Uh, we only lost one of these. And somewhere the paper is gone. I think right around here somewhere we started with the market moors. 76, which is also an heirloom cucumber. And I believe we only lost one of those. But these are starting to bloom. Uh, the early burpless cucumbers, they're starting to bloom. Um, I think I see seen a bloom on the gateway I'm not sure and then I have some uh, different melons and watermelons the rest of the way out through so we can see this one here is actually starting to it wants to climb something it didn't go for the fence like it should have, so I'm gonna try and figure out a way. I might stick a stick down there for it to climb and then direct it over to the fence or something like that. I'm not 100% sure yet how I wanna do that one, but um, I'm happy that they have cucumbers on them. And uh, I'm gonna continue pollinating these here. And when I'm ready to harvest one of the cucumbers, or we have one hanging on where I can show you, I'll come back with another video, and I'll show you what it looks like. So again, the way to tell the female flowers on a cucumber from the males is you look at the back of the flower. If it has the cucumber on, which this one here does, that's the female. The male flowers you see from here they don't have anything on the back they're just a flower so if you like my video please like comment subscribe if you have any questions you can leave them below and i'll try and answer them for you please don't forget to hit that little notification button i'll tell you when i put a new video on thank you for watching and i hope you have a nice day bye